Dr. Edward Group joins us uh, to get into a host of issues today. And then Leanne McAdoo is going to join us at the bottom of the hour in studio because she did the cleanse. Her friend, who's a popular actress here in town, did the uh, cleanse. And they had more dramatic results than I even had. Uh, Rob Dew lost 12 pounds in one week on the cleanse of just stuff in his intestines. Uh, and so Leanne McAdoo is going to come in and talk about it. And, and there'll be about five minutes of infomercialing, but 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 it all ties together. That's how we fund the operation. We, we're very naked about the fact that, that, that you know, we do that maybe once a week, every two weeks or so. Uh, but uh, Jim Mars should be in studio in the third hour. He was able to make it here with the torrential uh, flooding. But you can see the video with Leanne and her friend. Amazing results of the liver shield cleanse. What you can expect uh, when you do it. You can find details uh, and also get 25% off Liver Shield with the Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com right now. But that is while supplies last. We ordered a ton of it. We thought to go through the year because if you've got any left, you got to pay taxes on inventory. We, we jump through all the hoops. We're a major target here, so we pay probably more taxes than we should. That, that's what our new CPA and lawyers said. They said, you've been paying too many taxes. Whatever. They ever claim we haven't been, even though the tax is fraudulent, we're dealing with the mafia. We'd rather jump through all the hoops and not make tax issues our fight so we can say and do whatever we want on air. Strategically, that's my view. But we're going to run out of this before the year ends. I mean, at current sales rates, and this is a disaster, really, uh, it's going to sell out in about two weeks. So they're telling me now, hey, how about you take the sale offs, so we sell it at regular price, and run out by the end of the year, and then we can actually fund our operation. So I don't know if I'm going to pull the special by next week or what I'm going to do. We're trying to get more in. Liver Shield and, of course, the Oxy Powder discount of 25% off InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. Uh, we also have 15% off Ancient Defense Herbal Booster, uh, Brain Force is back in stock, Survival Shield Nation on an X2, Super Male Vitality and Female Vitality back in stock. Free shipping and 10% off on the high-quality storable foods at InfoWarsStore.com. We have the new Alexa Pure Pro, next level in gravity-fed filters. See the informational videos and more. InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. Now, Dr. Grip, she's coming up to talk about liver shield that you developed, oxy powder you developed, what it did for her and her friend, side-by-side -side photos and videos, dramatic results. This is probably one of the most dramatic things statistically we've seen out there. What's lurking in the guts and how it toxifies the body. But you're coming on to talk about how to eliminate Halloween toxins. How about we don't give processed candy to our kids? But a lot of folks obviously aren't going to do that. And using Halloween as a benchmark, we're always toxic in this world. This can be applied, obviously, to just general toxification of the body. Correct, Dr. Grip? Yeah, this is actually the best time of the year to detoxify your body because your metabolism usually slows down as winter comes in and you have at the end of October, which is Halloween, where you have all the candy, the processed foods, all of the toxins coming in, the high fructose corn syrup, and then you have November where you have Thanksgiving, and then you have Christmas, and then you have New Year's. So most of the time, most people out there double their intake of sugars, refined sugars, they double their intake of processed I food. always gain 10 pounds. They, yeah, they all gain weight because your metabolism is slowing down. So it's actually the perfect timing for you to be having a liver and intestinal cleanse special because what are the two things that are affected the most? The intestines and the liver for these three months. So if there's any time, don't, don't wait until January and New Year's when you make your New Year's resolution and say, you know, now's the time I'm going to clean up for the last three months and get rid of the last 10 pounds that I gained. You should at least be focusing on cleansing the liver and the intestines through this period. And if you do that, most likely you won't gain any weight and you'll keep your liver from having to process all those toxins and you'll keep your intestinal tract clean from having to deal with all those chemicals and toxins. And I want to talk models. about other ways you can do it as well, because you list a whole bunch of uh, things here in this info sheet you sent me. You were kind enough to write up for us, Dr. Group, but uh, going back to a plug here, Liver Shield with the Oxy Powder. You develop Liver Shield proprietarily for us. Other folks have done other cleanses that they say were great, say this is hands down, annihilates any other cleanse I've ever seen. They've never done cleanses that cause these stones to come flushing out. We're not sure. You can't say technically we actually know, but we can't say whether it's liver or the gallbladder. 
but but why such explosive results for 98 percent of people that we've seen well because everybody's liver is congested and toxic i mean they all suffer from non-alcoholic fatty liver disease a liver congestion there's no medical test really that can determine if you have a fatty liver or if you have fatty congestion in your liver if you have liver stones the liver performs over 500 different functions it fights off infection it protects the immune system it neutralizes and processes toxins. It processes all your nutrients. It helps regulate your hormone levels. And so when you look at society today, anybody over the age of 30 or 40 is most likely going to have a toxic liver. And that's why we've tried to figure out and search the globe for the most effective products and herbs that would help melt those stones down and help detoxify the liver of all these chemicals and toxins and help repair the liver. So what everybody should be doing on a regular base should be liver cleansing and keeping their liver intact. But that was one of the hardest processes we had to go through. It took years to find the right combination of herbs that people can take to help cleanse their liver and reactivate the liver's detoxification pathways and stimulate those. So the liver is functioning over 85%. That's really kind of the number, the goal that we want to get at because we've evaluated probably close, we've had probably close to 300,000 people go through liver cleansing. And what, what we constantly want to do is look at what's going on. And, and we haven't even also talked about the fact that the majority of children and adults these days are on some form of prescription medication. And we know that prescription medications also severely damage the liver. And not only that, some uh, recreational drugs damage the liver as well. And the, one of the most damaging things to the liver is alcohol. And we have the majority of adults that uh, drink alcohol. So really our goal was we knew that the body self-healing mechanism is really dependent on how clean the liver is. And most people's livers are only functioning at 50%, some 35%, 60%. But we know that we need to get the liver to about 85% or above functionality in order for the whole body self-healing mechanism and immune system to be active. So that's really what our goal is, is to try to educate people and say, look, Everybody needs to, to be aware that all of the stuff that they're breathing, the chemicals and toxins that are coming into the system through the air, through the water, through the food, all of that has to be processed through the liver and damages the liver. And so we feel it's extremely important not only to keep an intestinal lining because ultimately all those toxins come in through the intestines and then they go to the liver. So. Well, let's expand on that. They admit all these plasticizers are in so much of the fried foods. So while Michelle Obama says worry about fat, she doesn't say worry about GMO, don't worry about aspartame, don't worry about artificial salts, MSG, don't worry about thousands of different toxic additives, don't worry about MBTA, don't worry about that. Worry about fat in general, shifting gears, because I know fat affects the liver uh, in many different metabolic ways. Explain to me, now they're having to admit that, oh my gosh, what you've been saying forever, coconut oil fat, uh, other pure, you know, clean uh, meat fats, whatever the case may be, are essential to brain health and the rest of the body's health. And so much of Alzheimer's is linked now uh, in this cocktail of reasons to people not getting the good fat they need as building blocks in the body. How big of a game changer is it that they're having to come out now and admit uh, that fat is actually good, and instead of demonizing trans fats as they should have, artificial fats, which they claim was the answer to real fats that they first said were bad in the 80s, what's really going on there? And then what do you make of the UN? I mean, I know you're mainly a vegetarian, but you eat some meat. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is it that meat itself is bad, or is it that all the toxicity that bioaccumulates is bad? And what's your view of the UN now wanting to tax meat? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I don't eat meat. I haven't eaten meat for 12 years. Okay, and good. Not, I, I, I mean, I thought that from memory. I just want to make sure. It's not necessarily because I think meat is super bad. It's just that I, I was I was having digestive problems myself when I was eating meat, and that's just, you know, it could happen to anybody. 
the main problem with meat is 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 the same thing that happened with tobacco years ago when the tobacco company started spraying 650 different types of chemicals on the tobacco which is a natural plant it's when you take something and with like what you said with fats it's like when you take something natural and then you try to create it synthetically with the hydrogenated oils that they did and the trans fats that's when it becomes bad. When you take something that's naturally grown in nature and slather it with chemicals or genetically modify it or alter it in any way, shape or form, then it's gonna have a bad effect on you. And with the meat, you have number one, the cattle industry is heavily, you know, they use heavily uh, antibiotic use in the feed. It's all genetically modified feed. So if you convert over and you eat organic meat or organic fish or farm, you know, not farm raised, but any type of natural product, it's going to be a lot better. But if you look at the body and the way that we are, I mean, we really are herbivorous in nature. Number one, we don't have canine teeth to rip and chew flesh, which means that we're, we weren't designed to be meat eaters. So you're saying we we're not omnivores, that we're really herbivores? Well, um, what I'm saying is we originally weren't designed that way. We've adapted and evolved over over the period of the uh, uh, over the period of thousands of years. But we don't secrete hydrochloric acid in our mouth like carnivorous animals do. We don't have a pipe-like digestive tract like carnivorous animals do. But we have evolved over a long period of time because we've started eating meat. So, uh, so I'm not saying that all meat is bad, but it is acidic. It does cause the intestinal lining to become acid. People do not chew the meat until it's a liquid before they swallow well, that's it. That's what my so dad says. He says we, you, you should eat a little bit of red meat, fish, and things like that, but you better chew it to a bloody pulp that it is. Car he told me this 30 years ago. He goes, chew your meat or it's carcinogen causing in your colon. And 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 that's really true. And I still gobble down red meat without chewing it properly, which is a death sentence, I guess. Right, and that goes for anything. Really, we should just chew our food till it's a liquid before we swallow it. It just eases up our digestive tract. So what happens is people are not doing that, and people are not going to the bathroom as much as they should. So you have constipation. And so you end up like John Wayne with 45 pounds of undigested meat in your stomach, and that's what oxy powder and liver shield do. Well, it did it for us, and you've five-star reviews at InfoWarsLife.com. Uh, you know, you flush out your drains, you flush out your radiator, you flush out your fuel lines. It's time to flush out your intestines, InfoWarsLife.com. Leanne's coming in. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. joins us. We're talking about cleansing our bodies, and Leanne McAdoo is here. Her and her friend, I guess a month ago, said, hey, we want to do a cleanse. But we had to wait till Liver Shield got back in. So it got back in about a week and a half ago. They did the six day cleanse. And there's an informational video uh, that we're going to repost to InfoWars.com, breaking it all down. That informational video is also at InfoWarsLife.com uh, on the Cleanse Pack page. And you can get 25% off the Liver Shield and the Oxy Powder until next week. I'm going to have to pull the special down because it's so popular, we're going to run out of it. Um, we're going to have to go back to regular price. That's just how the free market works. But if you go to that page and scroll down, you can see the informational uh, video on the stones itself. And we're going to add the video that we produced to that page so that you can see uh, Leanne and her friend and exactly what happened and the results they got. And we're going to go to that video here in just a few minutes uh, showing the results uh, that they got. Uh, Dr. Group is our guest, but Leanne McAdoo, you heard us talk about it. You heard us go over it. Uh, you yourself uh, and your friend, uh, Emmy, uh, describe basically what happened when you did the cleanse, what the cleanse consisted of. Well, it was much easier than I thought it was going to be because of the, the diet that's prepared. As long as you follow those guidelines with um, all of the food suggestions and drinking lots of water and that apple cider vinegar, it I know there was a funny video that I put out where my first taste of that apple cider vinegar, but you really get used to it. Um, definitely going to be incorporating that into my regular diet, you know, every day because it's just so good for you. Um, but it was not as difficult as I, as I thought it was going to be <laughs> other than the flush day. So, but that, I think that was due to my own sort of trying to mix the, <laughs> just kind of do my own thing, which I, I think Dr. Group can kind of break it down as to why that's not appropriate. <laughs> 
Um, but well, Leanne, awesome. also, you're going to be back on a really serious issue, just as serious as this or more. Speaking of cleaning our bodies, you went to St. Louis. You're going to be in the last 30 minutes with Rob Dews, hosting <laughs> the fourth hour today. to talk about the three days you spent with Josh Owens outside St. Louis with the uh, leaking, burning, radioactive Manhattan Project landfill. Right. Now, by the way, I did not order you to go up there. Let's <laughs> be clear. You wanted to go. You used to live in St. Louis. Yeah. But you're going to be talking about that as well. Give us a little prelude of what you're going to be breaking down. Yeah, well, I was a little bit disturbed. I had just cleansed myself of that protective layer of toxins. So then I went, and then there was just that the leak there with uh, the leachate. And <laughs> so I just kind of opened myself up for the brand new toxins. But <laughs> it was, um, you know. It was well, you did a great job. You and Josh did. And by the way, we're <laughs> going to show uh, for TV viewers, if you're a radio listener, Infowars.com forward slash show, before and after with her and her friend of photos uh, of what happened to them in one week. And then and then also, you can see overall what I've been doing in the last few months, uh, doing some cleanses uh, and, and my waistline going down from a 40 now to a 36. Uh, so we do have that video. Do we have B-roll, guys? Yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and roll some of that. Dr. Group, what is this doing? Uh, Dr. Group, I mean, how did you develop Liver Shield and why is it so effective? Well, it's so effective because the liver filters about one and a half quarts of blood every minute. And when the liver has so many different, it has 500 different functions. So not only does it assist you with weight loss, it assists all the other different types of systems, your neurological system, your digestive system, your endocrine system, everything pretty much comes from the intestines and the liver. So when I wrote a book years ago, The 10 Top uh, Secrets to Weight Loss, my number one secret to weight loss was liver cleansing because once the liver is clean and it's working above 85%, then the liver's able to metabolize fat. It's able to regulate your hormone levels. So it really comes back to the liver being the most vital organ besides the intestinal lining in the body. And that's why the medical profession still doesn't teach doctors about the intestines and the liver and still doesn't really know too much about it or have any tests that determine that because they don't know how to properly clean and flush the liver. You know, if you look back at ancient Ayurvedic, you were talking about the good oils earlier, you know, avocado oil, hemp oil, uh, coconut oil, those are all great. And that's part of the liver cleanse because what we want to do, how we want to achieve that is cleanse everything out using the herbs, start breaking down all the liver stones. Most people don't even know that they actually have liver stones. They think stones are only associated with the gallbladder. And people that have their gallbladder taken out, by the way, those people are even more susceptible to liver, fatty liver and liver disease and should do liver cleansing even more often because that means the liver has to then take over all the work of the gallbladder it has to produce and store the bile, and it just works extra hard. So when you clean the liver out and using those oils, that's why it's so important to drink the olive oil with the liver cleanse because it works kind of like oil pulling. You know, Dr. Oz came out, and everybody's on this bandwagon of doing oil pulling in their mouth with coconut oil. Well, that's old Ayurvedic, ancient Indian technologies of using oils, good oils, to coat the cell membranes, but also oils have an affinity for toxins and chemicals and they suck them out, they pull them out. So when, during the liver cleanse on day five, when you drink your olive oil and that olive oil saturates into the liver, you're actually pulling all those chemicals and toxins out of the liver. And then some of them form little oil droplets and it causes the liver to purge and to, and to squeeze almost like a oil filter in a car, which is so congested you can still run oil through the filter and it doesn't clean. But if you were to purge and squeeze that oil filter, then you would get all that toxic gunk out of there back into the intestines and then you can eliminate it properly. Well, it really is frustrating that so-called MD medicine just tells people if you've got a problem with your gallbladder or whatever, just take it out. Or if you've got you know, your liver uh, losing function, they don't even tell you that the liver can regenerate. Well, when that's just mainline medical science, they just tell you to get on the list for a transplant, get on the list right. uh, to have it removed. Uh, it's just crazy that they don't tell anybody this, but I saw a British study 
just a couple days ago that if you quit drinking for a month, that most of the time a liver that's even 80% dead will regenerate. Now, that's medical that's doctors incredible. saying that in England. That's not me. I'm not a medical doctor. But I look at MD medicine in the U.S., and they just, I mean, I have a distant cousin, but I know him, and he's a computer programmer, um, worked for Microsoft, and he collapsed not knowing he had liver problems just from moderate drinking. And they told him, well, you got like 20% liver, you know, fatty cirrhosis and problems. We're just going to get you on a list to get you a new liver. It, it may take five years for your liver to totally fail, but we think it will. And I talked to them. They didn't tell them about liver cleanses. They didn't tell them about, you know, anything. They didn't discuss, hey, livers regenerate a lot of the time. Right. Uh, you know, they just told them, get ready to get a new liver, because I guess that's how they make more money. Why is that, Dr. Group? Well, that actually was part of our research, and it turns out that the two most important organ systems in the body, the intestinal tract, which is the largest endocrine gland, regenerates the top layer every 24 hours, and the liver regenerates itself every three months. So those that just tells you how important those organ systems are, and that just goes to show you why they were developed in the body. Like for your bones, for example, they regenerate every six years, but the liver and the intestines are the main organs that are going to be exposed to all of the most damaging toxins and chemicals and everything we're exposed to. And so those are the ones that take the most damage. There's more than 900 prescription drugs out there that injure the intestines and the liver. There's 29 million Americans that are suffering from non-fatty uh, liver disease. And the thing is, they're not the problem is you really don't have a lot of symptoms. You know, with your intestines, you might have bloating, gas, pains every now and then, some diarrhea, constipation, but it's really hard to diagnose liver problems. And those just creep up on you because slowly when the liver, and they know that, they know that they can damage the liver long-term, and that's going to lead to all of the other degenerative illnesses. Because when the liver's filtering all those chemicals and toxins out of the blood and it becomes overwhelmed and fatty, guess what? A lot, 50, 60, 70% of those chemicals and toxins, are, the liver's not able to filter and process. So now it starts taking down the all the other organs. I want to show right. just in the last five months, working out less now because I've been so busy, but taking the supplements, the X2, doing the liver cleanse, the products at InfoWarsLife.com, I went from super jumbo fat, I mean, and that was us, Leanne, in England three years ago, 280 pounds to now losing more than 60 pounds. Now, the images on screen are just me month to month over a three-month period, and then that was just last week. So in three months, it's been that dramatic. And it's not saying I look great. I'm not Mr. Beachbody, but I have certainly lost over 60 pounds. And it took me years to lose just 20 or 30. And then now in the last year, I've lost more than I lost before that. And when I do finally focus now and work out moderately, the weight just pours off of me. I kind of take advantage of the supplements, though, and kind of have gotten lazy again. <laughs> uh, so it's been slower for me. What happened uh, with your friend? Uh, with her weight loss? Yes. Yeah, I mean, she she's um, very experienced with this. So she just goes kind of gung-ho, and she slimmed down like flat as a pancake. She said that she weighs uh, the least that she's weighed in over a decade. And she's in a lot of pretty big uh, B movies, also some A movies. Yeah. She's a pretty big actress, uh, and uh, she was already slimming down. She's a sports model as well, uh, and she'd gained some weight. And she told me here, she said, this is the best cleanse hands down I've ever done. Right. No, she loves it, and that's why she was so ready to do it again after she did it the first time. But, of course, you know, we had to wait for the product to come back in. That's right. She'd done it once, right. told you you should do it. You, this is your first time, though. Correct. Yeah, and so she was just kind of helping me through it, giving me some good uh, diet tips as far as some good healthy snacks to have. And Leanne, I think green is your color. <laughs> Thank you. I like that shirt, too. Um, but I, want, <laughs> I still want to say that those were not my after photos. Uh, just like I mentioned, those are my almost finished with the cleanse photo. So I'm actually thinner now because I actually have... I, I can see it. Don't get too thin, flushed. though. No, I don't want to lose any weight. It, it was just around the, the, the like, the, the muscle tiny top little area. Tummy. You could see on the sides where I kind of had a little roll there up at the top, and it, it just... 
flushed out. And that, I think... Well, by the way, it's not the crew's fault. Awesome. I came in today, did not do any preparation on this. Then the computers that had all the videos crashed. So I'm asking yeah. for these videos while the group's talking. They're scrambling, trying to resurrect them. So yeah. the crew's doing an exemplary job. We do need to get the latest photos. That was you in the middle of the cleanse. Right. And you could see a big difference. Well, that that was because I had accidentally... I switched the salts around. Maybe Dr. Group can talk about why it's important to do the Epsom versus like a Himalayan salt. So I switched the salts around so my body didn't properly flush. And so I ended up just getting really bloated and like OD'd on sodium. <laughs> so it, that was a big mistake there. So I didn't even really want to take... I was about to say, you've really lost weight now. <laughs> it's like the week after the cleanse. What happened? Yeah. Well, it's just because that particular day I was still really bloated from the sodium. And so the flush took a little bit longer. Uh, Dr. Group had to kind of walk me through some steps to... Well, this is the last network error. break I'm going to skip for the next week, and that's an order to John Harmon, but I have to skip it because I want to air this five-minute report uh, with you and your friend doing the cleanse together, and you guys shot this at home yourselves. Mm -hmm. She came over to your house. Great job, Leanne, on top of hosting the news and hosting the radio and all the work you do. This was your idea. You did it, yep. and, and the video is very popular with viewers and listeners. Next hour, Jim Mars is going to be in, in studio with us. We're going to cover a bunch of other news. We're going to come back after this video and get... Dr. Group's uh, take on other health news and where he sees the forced inoculation move going mm -hmm. to forcibly inoculate us. But Leanne, I tell you, it makes me want to really follow the cleanse like you guys did. Yeah, I haven't even started drinking again because I stopped drinking, um, you know, a couple days before the cleanse just to make it easier. And I haven't even j just knowing what was coming out with the toxins and everything and how great I felt during that time. I just, I haven't even gone back to drinking or eating fatty foods because I just, I want to keep feeling this good. So it is Halloween this weekend. So well, your eyes are, are even more sparkly. <laughs> I know people have been saying my skin's glowing. So it was, it was a real good time. Did Definitely we ever cue would. up a Wonder Woman song for her? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe later. We're going to, we're going to go out. You know what? Let's just play it right now before we play this piece because the entire world is waiting for her and then we will uh, go out of Wonder Woman and into the piece uh, that uh, Leanne and her friend uh, put together on what happened. But but just briefly, because I don't like, obviously, with a guy even talking about this or on air talking about it, uh, or with a girl you know that I work with, a lady talking about it, but without getting into details. But please, go. Uh, without, no, no, but <laughs> I, I mean, d did it work as advertised? It worked, and I was really surprised, and... I didn't believe it. Two years ago, they were pushing me. I'm like, yeah, right, develop this. I'm going to do it. And they go, no, nobody does this cleanse. This is going to be huge. It's going to help people, and it's going to be very successful. Yeah. And then I did it, and I was like, wow. I didn't know I was living in the movie Alien. Yeah, it was, I mean, <laughs> it was intense. It worked, but it, <laughs> not that bad. Hold on, let's put her up on screen. <laughs> Wonder Woman. It, this always makes me blush. All the world is waiting for you. <laughs> As she battles radioactive waste dumps. I know. Where's me in the nuclear wasteland? We have, we have some. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. You stopped we, that car. Can we do a remake with this? I like your... Yeah, let's do it. I like your invisible jet. Can we get the green jet. screen? <laughs> Wonder Woman. Oh, my goodness. This is... The Just the best news ever. The All right, there you go. <laughs> uh, Dr. Group, what do you think of the wondrous <laughs> results that Wonder Woman has had? I think she's awesome. I'm so proud of Leanne and Emmy. <laughs> I mean, I, I was talking to her during the cleanse and... <laughs> I'm just so proud of her. She's gung-ho. She did it, and she had great results. The only thing was she mixed up and used the Himalayan crystal salt, which is regular salt. The reason why we have the Epsom salts in there because they're a magnesium salt. you got to be the medical different. grade at, like, CVS. Yeah, and I guess, Dr. Group, you were saying that, that you know, the, the Himalayan, my body will actually absorb it and be like, that's great. With the other one, it it will flush right. it out. Yeah, the Himalayan crystal salt is just like regular pure salt water salt. So I mean, you had the the same results, and you did Himalayan salt, not Epsom. No, that was that was the problem. Is that it did not flush me out. So I had to do another salt flush. It was it took like an entire extra day of suffering, and Doctor Group kind of talked me through it because the Epsom salt is. See, this is so unscripted. I don't even know any of this. 
Yeah. No, that was... Uh, of the suffering. It was This product's suffering. so good, the suffering. <laughs> no. Come I, suffer. It was my own fault. I was... No, like, no, seriously. It's Lying right. in bed and, like, the room was going like this and I Well, I'm like, kind of a wimp. <laughs> Drinking apple cider vinegar every day yeah, is, is, is suffering, uh, even though it's really good for you, and just eating the oxy powdered tablets. It's not that big a deal. Because I did a cleanse before with herbs, made me totally sick and, and really hurt my guts. It didn't really work too well. So this is a great cleanse, but I guess there is some legitimate suffering involved. Well, no, that's why I wanted to just stress to people, follow Dr. Group's instructions. You can find the Epsom salt at Whole Foods or some sort of a store. Yeah, and you got to buy the little gelatin tablets to put it in. Because that's the, I didn't follow his deal and the next morning didn't have the effect. So I called him up with Anthony and I said, listen, I'm not having green and black balls. Everybody else says they're getting them. There's something wrong with me. And he goes... Did you, he goes, did you take the Epsom salts? Oh, yeah. And I went, uh, no. And he goes, well, yeah. That, so then the I took key. him that next day, <laughs> and then that night it happened. Right. So. And that was another thing Emmy wanted to point out to people. Some people say, oh, well, that's uh, debunked. You know, it's just the olive oil flushing out, and those are the balls. She was having the uh, globules come out before she even took the olive oil. So it was like the, with the Epsom salt flush, like because it, you know, loosened up the gallbladder and everything. And as soon as I took that olive oil... Olive oil isn't making black, hard marbles. Exactly. But there's a lot of people in the comments going, oh, no, and it's, she didn't even take the olive oil, and it was already starting to happen. Well, what do they have to lose? You're funding a hardcore operation battling for freedom, battling for right to defend, right, sovereignty, and we only promote and sell what we've used, what we believe in, right. what's blown people away. Plus, that's free market. We want to have killer products, InfoWarsLife.com. Before I go to this video, support our local AM and FM affiliates, buy their products, become sponsors, support their sponsors, buy billboards for them. The middle class and wealthy people have to get aggressive or we're going to lose everything. And working class folks don't have an extra dollar. You can spread the word about these local m and affiliates. Uh, most talk show hosts plug every segment different products. We don't do that. Once a week or so, we do 20, 30 minutes of infomercialing to fund the entire operation. And we obviously have some sponsorship as well, but we're about 80% self-funded. I want to thank all you, the viewers and listeners, for buying the products at InfoWarsLife.com. Let's go to this piece uh, with Leanne and her friend and the dramatic results that they had. Here it is. Well, myself and Emmy Robin are here. We're getting ready to do the liver shield cleanse. Very excited. <laughs> As you can see here, the first, the night before the first day is all about prepping. Yes. So that is what we have going on here. And I felt uh, pretty good rolling out of the grocery store looking like a health nut. Well, we're checking in for day two of the InfoWars Life Liver Shield Cleanse. Um, I gotta say, crankier today than yesterday. <laughs> Emmy to the rescue. Once again, she's brought me some delicious food to try to tame the beast. <laughs> she's been a real Hillary Clinton. Yeah, but we're still hanging in there. Hope you guys are too. Be sure to check out the product, InfoWarsLife.com. It's the Liver Shield Cleanse along with the Oxy Powder. And uh, you don't have to go all the way and take the Liver Cleanse Challenge, but I highly recommend it. And that's me, Evil Queen, <laughs> on day two. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Hi, guys. Here we are checking in day three of the InfoWars Life Liver Shield Cleanse. Uh, I got to say, today I thought I was expecting it to be really intense and, and cranky and bad, but I feel pretty good. Nice. How about you? I'm glad. I got a little dizzy today, I'm not going to lie, and then the cravings have come on, like I said, on day three. Um, it's always towards the end of the day, of course, when I was yeah. driving over here. Yes. Hear a commercial for cake pops. <laughs> I don't even eat cake, nor do I eat cake pops, but they sound delicious right now. <laughs> So I might have to try one on Monday or Tuesday, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's, it's, it's weird. Day three, for some reason, no matter how many times I cleanse and I've cleansed a lot, day three, I always just get the strangest cravings. It, we're not using pharmaceutical drugs. We're not, you know, I, I've seen so many posts of people getting their gallbladders taken out and, and people don't understand, like, it's not like your wisdom teeth. Like your gallbladder is a huge horse organ along with your liver that cleanses your body and you can't just take that out because it, it helps cleanse the body. So right. why not try a cleanse and get rid of the stuff in the gallbladder? As promised, we are checking in for day four of the InfoWars Life Liver Shield Cleanse. I gotta say, Emmy, you were right. Day four, I feel tremendous. Woke up this morning feeling really light, uh, 
a lot of clarity, I had no hunger pains, and I actually felt like I was floating through the grocery store. Everyone was sort of looking at me like, oh, pardon me, oh, excuse me. And, and I wasn't in there cute or anything. Like, it just was like, I feel like I am glowing. It's wonderful. And you're not even that hungry, right? No, not at all. I didn't even want to eat today because I felt so good. Yeah. So obviously this cleanse for me has really showed me that it is all about retraining our brain. Like I said, how can you resist tyranny if you can't resist the taco stand? Now, uh, if you want to see our before and after photos, I think they said they've got them ready. Yeah. Like I said, mine are before and almost after because I'm not done with my flush. Uh, but you can see those if you go to uh, Infowars.com forward slash show. Whoa, Emmy, flash. Yeah, and I was, I promise you, I promise you, I was not sticking out in that first picture. I just literally was <laughs> relaxed. And even in the second picture, I was relaxed. But like... Looking you can at really it, it's crazy. Look I can at see those in my cuts back. In your side. No, I know. I can see the muscles in my stomach. It's nuts and my legs i feel like my legs look skinnier i don't know i, I started off at like a, a i mean for my height i'm almost five nine so i started off at relatively healthy weight because i had done the liver cleanse in july and then i went straight into working in, on a production for three months where i was working 18 hour days on my feet doing like eight miles a day so i mean i wasn't super out of shape but when i started that first liver cleanse i was pretty out of shape so that before yeah. and after you said you're actually at the and lowest weight of your well, pretty in, much. in a decade, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. I'm almost back to where when I was a, a fitness model, which would do be. They have, do they have my before and almost <laughs> afters? Or are we going to hold those off? Oh, my goodness gracious. Holy moly. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, I can see it in your arms for where, sure and your legs. Well, where I really see it and where I really wanted it was in my sides. I guess you would call that the spare tire. And you can actually see mm -hmm. where there's that little roll. <laughs> oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. There's that little roll kind of on the, like the back fat. And you yeah. can see it's, it's gone Look away. Look at your chin. Look below your chin though. Oh my gosh. You see, you, wow, you lose see? a little bit in your face too. That's where I saw it big <laughs> time the first time around. There you go, everyone. Before and afters. And like I said, mine is not even an after yet. I should probably take more <laughs> pictures later when all the sodium has <laughs> yeah. left my body. I wanted to let everybody know this cleanse uh, is on sale right now. The liver shield is on sale. The, 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 the pack itself is on sale with the Ox Advanced Liver Cleanse Pack with the uh, Oxy Powder and the Liver Shield. The Oxy Powder itself is on sale. So go ahead to the InfoWars store and pick some up today. I'm telling you, this is powerful. I felt amazing this entire week. It was right, we're not put the as full hard as I thought that it was going to up be. Up on InfoWars.com and at InfoWarsLive.com. But Liam wanted to add something. Uh, you said that you were just telling me you didn't lose any weight. You lost yeah. what? I lost more than two inches around my waist. So I, I luckily I did not lose my curves, but my stomach there where the bloat was with the toxins, more than two inches. Well, that means your muscles got bigger if you stayed the same size, if you lost fat. That's amazing. We'll be back with final comments from Lee and Dr. Group. Then Jim Mars in studio, back into politics, back into news. But this is important. It's a win-win. Take care of your bodies. Support the broadcast. Or so I covered news the first 20. I've been getting into Liver Shield and Fuller's Life, how we fund ourselves here. We're not like NPR that takes taxpayer money and then begs for money every week. Um, we just uh, promote products that are high quality. Leanne McAdoo is here with us. Coming up, Jim Mars will be in studio to cover a bunch of world events, the political realignments, uh, what's happening with the debt limit being raised basically to an unlimited level, and so much more. But in this last five minutes, shifting gears back into news, Dr. Group, just the state of the world, what do you make of Vladimir Putin coming out and saying carbon taxes, man-made climate change is a eugenics fraud meant to enslave humanity, and it is a weapon system against humans? Uh, what do you make of that type of game-changing statement? And then I want to get Leanne's take. I think exactly that, that it's game-changing. I mean, I give him give him a round of applause i mean that's that alone is hopefully is going to wake up a lot of people um we need more world leaders coming forward and actually stepping up to the plate and not hiding behind their shells and not being in a fearful state that uh, they can't say anything because they're scared that we're going to attack them or cut trade with them or something like that so way to go putin for doing that i mean that's great what else are you looking at right now? What else is front and center for you politically? 
Uh, well, politically, right now, pretty much we're just trying to let people know that they need to take care of their children, especially over Halloween, uh, try to get their children to avoid all the high fructose corn syrup that they're going to be eating, which is mostly made from genetically modified beets, and uh, letting everybody know that they need to continue to cleanse over the holidays, keep a good positive attitude, try not to stress out too much. So that's what I'm we've really to. just been kind of focusing on the positive. And uh, for some reason, a lot of people are just saying, "What what can we do?" Especially, you know, with HR 1599, the GMO. Uh, the Dark Act, we're trying to educate people about that right now. And uh, we just had a lot of requests lately for with people coming forward and saying, you know, what can we do to improve our lives and become more positive and, and become more healthy? So, Well, Dr. Group, pretty... I want to salute you for developing liver shield and oxy powder, 25% off for a limited time at InfoWarsLife.com. Thank you so much for all your work, and I look forward to talking to you again soon, hopefully here in studio. But I know you couldn't drive up today because of the monsoons hitting Texas. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on. It's always a pleasure.